Hello everyone, so here I am again with another video. So today I will teach you how to install Node.js and how to ex execute the .js file uh, with help of Node.js. Okay, so uh, before starting, uh, let me show you if I have installed the Node.js in my computer or not. So uh, to do that, uh, I'll open a command prompt. Okay, so I'm opening here command prompt. So here, uh, if you type node node and click enter, you'll see uh, node is not recognized as an internal or external command, which means the node is not installed in my system. Okay, so now let's begin the installation. Uh, so uh, for installing the Node.js, um, I would uh, recommend you to always install the applications from its uh, official website. So I'll just type here node js download and click enter. So this is the uh, official website uh, node.js.org. So I'll click on this download link. Now here you can see there are two type of versions that is LTS and the current version. The LTS is the long time support version and the current one is the, like the latest features that the node uh, JS has. So I prefer uh, installing the, this LTS one uh, because if you install this current version it might have some bugs uh, which might uh, create problem for you. And it might not support uh, for the long time uh, support okay so uh, I'm just uh, clicking on LTS and uh, if you have Windows then uh, choose uh, which which uh, operating system you have that is if you have 32 bit then click on this 32 bit or if you have 64 then you can click on 64 so I have 64 bit version so I'll just click on 64 Okay, so now let me select the path where I want to install this. So it's, I think it's installed. I'll just click on this. It should run the installation file. Okay, so this is the uh, installation wizard. So I'll just click next and I'll just accept the license agreement and next. Again, next, um, it is asking like automatically install the necessary tools. Uh, note that this will also install chocolatey. The script will pop up in a new window after the installation completes. So basically, it's asking that do you want to install some necessary like additional tools uh, apart from the Node.js? There are additional tools which might help you to run JS file in uh, with the help of Node.js. So I'll just click uh, this this checkbox. So what it will do is after installing Node.js, it will open another CMD like command prompt and there it will install the additional files. Okay, so I have just checkmarked this and clicking next and click on install. Now it's asking for admin permissions, so I'll just click yes. So the installation has started. It will take some time. Uh, let's wait for it. Okay, so the Node.js is installed. Uh, click finish. So here you can see uh, the additional files will be downloaded. So it has opened the command prompt for me. So to start the installation of the additional files, I'll just have to click enter. Now it's asking me to open PowerShell, so I'll click yes. So it opened the PowerShell for me and here it will be installing the additional tools. So here you can see it's saying that it is downloading Chocolaty uh, from, uh, like from this website. 
Meanwhile, we can see if the node is installed or not. Uh, like these are the like additional files, but the node based uh, should be installed. So to check that, I'll open a CMD. Now type here node space hyphen hyphen version and click enter. So here you can see the node version is uh, mentioned here. Before it was showing an error that node is not recognized like that. But now it's showing the version which means the node is installed in our machine. Okay. Uh, so now you can run the node uh, uh, over here in this command prompt as well. So to run that, uh, we can just type node, NOD node and enter. Then you can see over here, uh, instead of this, um, like uh, the cursor, uh, the horizontal cursor, it's showing this arrow, which means it's in the node mode. So I'll type here, uh, console dot log um hello world and click enter so here you can see it printed hello world okay uh, you can do like what is node.js it's basically javascript uh, along with the server side uh, supporting supported okay so i'll show you how uh, the server will run and all but uh, for now i'm just showing you these are basically the JS commands, like the JavaScript commands. So that is why I wrote here uh, console.log. So you can uh, do some simple mathematics as well, like 2 plus 3. So it showed you the output 5. Okay, so things like that. Now here you can see uh, it's installing the uh, additional files. Uh, I'll just keep it as it is. Uh, I'll just minimize this um, like uh, Windows partial. Meanwhile, I'll show you how to run Node.js using uh, an editor, like uh, what you usually do. You write a JS code and you run it uh, with the help of like the command prompt or the inbuilt terminal. Okay, so to write the code, I'll use a Visual Studio Code IDE. First, I'll create a new file here, a new .js file. And I'll save it as test.js and click enter. So now the file is saved. Now I'll write a JS code. Uh, example again console.log and then hi I am Aditi. Okay. And I'll save this. Now to run this code, I'll just open the terminal. So here you can see, I just clicked on this uh, toggle uh, panel. So it basically uh, brought this uh, output screen over here, like this is the terminal. Here is the output. So I'll just go to the terminal. So this is actually git bash, but you can uh, choose from here, like whichever uh, terminal you want. You can open the PowerShell or command prompt, anything. I'm just type. I'm just using this uh, git bash over here, and I'll type here uh, node, and you will see it will recognize it. Okay, so it gave the version and it changed the cursor as well over here. So you can see uh, it is recognizing the node command. So now what I'll do is first I'll have to go to this folder in which I saved this uh, test.js. So to go to that folder first I'll have to exit this node. So to exit node, I'll have to write dot exit exit or you can type here uh, like ctrl uh, plus uh, c or you can type ctrl plus d. Okay, but do not use all of these commands at once. You will have to use any one of them. So I'll just delete the last two and I'll write dot exit and then click enter. So now you can see it has uh, got exited from this uh, node. Now uh, here I'll go to the folder in which I uh, saved this test.js file. So I'll write cd. cd is for a change directory. And then I'll write the directory name that is desktop and click enter. Now you can see the uh, it has taken you to 
the desktop location and now here i'll write node then write then write the uh, file name dsd test.js and click enter now here you can see it ex executed my code okay so this is the method how you execute the uh, js file from the command prompt but uh, i have an extension in this uh, vs code which is called uh, code run and uh, then uh, like what it will do is i have this uh, triangle shaped button over here if you click on this you can see uh, it will automatically run this uh, node and it will print the output over here okay but you can see over here it is not in the terminal it is uh, it gave the output in this output tab okay so i'll just show you that ex uh, extension as well so if you write over here code run here this one the first one dot run code runner this is the extension that i use so it is already installed so i'll just i'll do not uh, install it again so here you can just click on install and it will install it automatically and after that uh, restart your uh, ide and it will uh, like work for you okay okay so now this was the basic js code uh, now let me show you how to connect a js code to the local server that is the local host and then run the code okay so to do that first i'll have to connect to the server so to connect to the server uh, there are few lines of code that you need to write uh, to execute the node js so that it can connect so um, uh, first of all uh, go to this uh, node js dot org the space the official website of node.js here in this about section click about here you will find this is the code which basically connects you to the local host okay so uh, i'll explain you in another video like what what are these lines for like when i'll teach you node.js then i'll explain you in detail but for now uh, let me just copy this code and then open this uh, my file and i just paste it over here and save it now i'll run this code so to run this code i'll have to first go to this uh, my directory so cd desktop and then i'll write node and then my file name node.js okay and click enter So once I click enter, you can see over here it has given you a message saying a uh, server running at this address. Okay, this is your local host one one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one, and three thousand is your port number. So you can change the port number like whichever port you want uh, your uh, server to run. So so to change that uh, port number, you need to write it over here. Okay, you can change it to anything. Uh, but for now let me show you first uh, in this 3000 port number only so if i type this address in my browser i'll just copy this and type it over here and click enter you can see over here hello world okay so basically the server is working and it executed your code okay so uh, how this hello world came here you can see it basically throws a message over here with this hello world like if like uh, what is this code is if the uh, connection is successful uh, the message you will get is hello world and 200 is for uh, 200 this code stands for connection successful okay if it was not uh, connected to the server then it should show you some error uh, but uh, here it uh, does not have that uh, message so you will not get any error but uh, suppose you have some error and it did not connect to the server so it might show you something like uh, code 404 it sometimes shows you know like when you go to some website and you try to access uh, the contents of the website it sometimes shows you 404 which means it has got some error and it is not being able to connect you to connect you to that website okay but here it did not show any uh, error that is why you just got hello world printed okay uh, i showed you this uh, with this terminal 
uh, but you can run uh, with this uh, like uh, what to what to say extension also like if i click on this run code it will again uh, run this code first i'll uh, kill this terminal and i'll change this port so uh, you will understand better i'll change this port number to 8080 and then i'll uh, save this file and click on this run code button so now you can see over here the port number changed now if i uh, refresh this page you will see you will not see any output uh, it gave an error because there is no uh, output in this port okay so i'll i'll just have to change this uh, port number i'll write here 8080 and click enter now you can you can see it printed hello world okay so this is how it works now you can uh, like stop this server by clicking on this stop code run okay but uh, i i want to show you another thing that is if it make any changes any changes suppose after hello world i'm adding this exclamation mark and click control s that is save and try to refresh this page you will not see the change over here that is because uh, the uh, this editor is already running the server and it is not restarted yet so let me do one thing i'll just stop this server uh, you can see here exited code which means uh, it stopped the server and i'll run again so it again started the server at the same location i'll just uh, click refresh now here, here you can see this exclamation mark so to avoid this uh, like restarting the server manually uh, you can use another command uh, which is called node mon with the help of which the uh, whenever there is change in the code it will automatically uh, restart the server and when you uh, refresh the page it will automatically reflect uh, in the website also okay so let me show you that Uh, so here you can see the server is already running so first i'll uh, close this server uh, i'll just click control c and it will uh, stop and it is now uh, directing to the uh, desktop location so now what i'll do is i'll write another line over here i am aditi okay so i've changed this code but now when i refresh this Uh, you will not see anything you will it will show error that is because i have stopped the server over here so uh, now i'll what i'll do is i'll start the server i'll type here node mon instead of node i'm writing over here node mon and then the file name test.js and now when i click enter uh, you see over here uh, it started the server at this location 8080 so i'll just refresh the page and here you see the code is now uh, like refreshed and updated okay so now i'll change again like i'll delete this aditi and i'll write over here welcome to my channel okay and click save when i click save you can see over here it automatically restarted the server and when i click refresh over here it changed my uh, text text over here okay so this is how you automatically restart the server without uh, start restarting it manually okay so this is uh, what i wanted to uh, teach you today hope you like this video and uh, for any other concerns or any doubt you have you can uh, always uh, comment in the comment section and if you like my video please hit the like button uh, click subscribe and support me thank you